So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. My name is Ruth Basura from Curva.com and today I'm going to answer a question that you asked me a few months ago. And this is, Ruth, is it possible to query Google Analytics accounts on one query? So instead of going to Google Analytics, like three Google Analytics accounts and join the tables afterwards, to do that with one query. And yes, it is possible. I'm going to show you how. I just want to warn you that it might be slow if you have a lot of data and sampling will occur probably if you do have a lot of data. But this is how it gets done anyhow. Um, let's jump into Power BI and I'll show you. It is actually very, very simple. So you are going to get this file in the download center at Kerbal.com. It is file number 43. So you can just go to the... Um, community downloads and get the file number 43. It, the description, the details are on the description box so you will be able to see that. Um, but if we jump into Power BI, I've already created the function. The function is actually very easy. What I've done is I query m one of my Google Analytics account with the fields that I wanted out. In this case, it is default channel grouping, hostname, page date, and page views. You can, I recommend you to do it that way because you don't have to write the code manually so you avoid making mistakes and it is a lot faster. And then once you have your query, you can just paste it here into the function. So the function will grab whatever information you want from Google Analytics. Once I had that, so I had the query, I just took out, you know, that the Google Analytics connector, hard codes, the property, and the account, the property, and the view. So what I did is I took out those as parameters, and then I created a function. So it's very, very easy. Again, this function, you will get it on the file, so you can just reuse it. So now, how do we use the function? Here's the thing. I have already a sample here, but I'm going to do it again so you can see. We're going to query Google Analytics do another query and we just need, you know, you only need one metric to be able to put out something from Google Analytics. So let's speak. That's fine. So here we have it. Now, if you go up here, you'll see that the first step is giving you all the accounts that you have available on Google Analytics. So that is exactly what we want. Of course, you can create this table manually if you have it or in Excel, but I don't have it and I prefer to have it, you know, dynamically. So we go back here, we close that. And what we need to use our function is the account ID. It won't work with the name. Get out the ID, account ID, property ID, view ID. So account ID, we already have it. And then we go here in data and we will get the property ID, which is this one. Oh, we also need obviously data so we can grab the view ID. So here we have the view ID. And if you're doing Google Analytics right, you'll probably have more than one view. I do not know the IDs of my views. So I need to get, in this case, the ID and the name. So I'm going to get both because then I can actually filter all my views that I use for reporting are called reporting. So if I go to R, I can see here my reporting views, and then I will grab only the data for the views that I'm interested in. If you know the ID, filter by the ID, you're good to go. So now this is the account ID. This is the property ID. Whoops property ID, and this is the view ID, which is what you need. The other ones, you don't need. I'm going to start using my trick so you can see how that works. We're going to remove everything else. You might want to have the name of your property, maybe? Because you are pulling information from... Okay, you probably want to have thinking about it, your property name, obviously. Uh, 
what's the problem with that? The already exists. Okay, fine. Name to. So here is account name. You're probably going to need that, need that. And then we're going to just choose the columns that we want to keep. And uh, we want that. Boom, boom, boom. Well, maybe we can do that later because we're actually going to extract the data. So now that we have all the fields that we need, we can go to add column in, oops, you can do it manually, but why do it when you have a function? Invoke custom function. So we go in here, we call it, I don't know, data. We invoke the function that we created. And then here we have account name. Here we go, property ID, no, account ID, property ID, and then view ID. And it will give you the data that we said we wanted, you know, the page, the def default channel and blah, 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 for all the uh, properties that we specified or all the views that we specified, which is fantastic. Now that we have these, we can actually remove, could have done it before. Either way. So we remove the name, account name we want. We don't want that. We don't want that. And now we don't need the IDs. That's why we could do it afterwards. There you go. So. Voila, so now you have all the, all that data for all those four accounts that I specified. So as you can see, it's actually easy way to do it. So hopefully it helps you out and uh, it is over today. So I'll see you again on Friday with another version of, another edition of DAX Fridays. We're going to talk about cumulative calculations. So, See you again on Friday. Take care. Bye.